Hi, this is Chris Cluey, and you're listening to Best Threesome Ever. Welcome to Best Threesome Ever, a podcast discussing all things revolving around nerdy pop culture. Probably not what you were expecting, but it's just as fun. Now here are your hosts, Nick, Rob, and Kevin. Ask your doctor if pooping into my cupped hands is right for you. <laughs> Side effects may include poop into your cupped hands. <laughs> Side effects might be chunks of food. No. Chunks of corn? <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> no. 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 Uh. no. All right, here we go. Best threesome ever. Episode 127 brought to you by Heroic Goods and Games and Jaybird Wines. I'm Nick. I'm Rob. I'm Kevin. I'm Megan. Hey. Hey. We have a lady here. <laughs> I, I object to that statement. <laughs> we have one that has female body parts. That's sure. True. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Yep, they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, hi, Megan. Hi. How you been? I've been good. Last time we saw you was on our 100th episode. Yeah. Last, oh. time, last time we saw a lot of people was our 100th episode. <laughs> it's a true story. Last time we saw people yeah. was our 100th episode. I listened to that recently. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was fine. You, I was real drunk. I was too. <laughs> yeah, you can watch I, us all get progressively drunker. I oh. had a bottle of wine by myself. You sure did. I'm proud of you I for it. I finished it. I had a girl. Yeah. You're not a quitter. And then that became my norm for pandemic. Yeah. And then I stopped drinking wine for a while. Oh. And you switched to whiskey? No, oh. I stopped <laughs> drinking, period, for a I, while. Oh, girl. I think I'm the only person in the world that drank less during this pandemic. I did. Oh, I drank so much more. You drank less? You drank yeah, more? I drank less. Oh. Good no. for, good for I don't you really guys. drink. Yeah, very social drinker, and so if I'm Same. not socializing with anyone, I don't drink. Mm. Yeah, oh, I just couldn't go I to the like bar. A beer here and there, yeah. mm. but that's just because I can't. I can't resist a good Lining Kugel Summer Shandy. Mm. That's true. They're pretty good. Those I'm a very good. social drinker, and I also um, am nervous about drinking w- when I'm out places and then may have to drive later. So, mm. like, I have to be really careful about it. Tricks. So, in two weeks, I'm gonna get blotto. <laughs> <laughs> Why in two weeks? It's the, the backyard party. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That thing's happening, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We got real drunk. No, I can't because I have to fucking cook for you assholes. All right. Well, you cook first and then you get drunk yeah, afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get yeah. drunk right away. Up right away. It's a, mar- yeah, it's it's a fucking marathon, man. You got to yeah. pace yourself through it. Yeah. You can't just run to the sprint the, or sp- try to sprint to the end sprint at the beginning. To the run at the end of the. And the analogy started well, anyway. Plus, you know, <laughs> treat it like a duel. I'm your second. You're, you're good. You know? Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. So I any like drinks that. I don't finish, you will? No. Or like no, a if, cooking. If you need to. Oh, if yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Either cooking. or. A, a gentleman's <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> a gentleman's mm. agreement. Huzzah! Huzzah! I see a fatal flaw in that, in that sentence, though. It suggests I'm a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Well, so well, you guys suggested I was a lady earlier. Oh, so. good point. All right, so it's metaphor. Plus, you're 2021, it. Rob, not 2011, Rob. That's a real good point. Those are two completely different people. <sighs> I think that was 2009, Rob, that we're both thinking of at the moment. But that guy was fucked up too. No, that was 2011. I didn't, I didn't meet Rob until 2010, and then I really didn't get to know you in 2011. And 2011, Rob was manager, Rob. Yeah. Mm. Um, Heavy quotation marks yep. manager, Rob. <laughs> yep, yep. More like Rob was always passed out in the back, Rob. Yep. That was what I was yeah. subtly alluding to. <laughs> yeah, nice. But it's, it's funnier when you explain it. Um, <laughs> well, to the people that weren't there, <laughs> they, they'd, they'd pick it up. And then yeah. I didn't meet any of you besides Kevin until 2012. 12? Really? 12 was my first year. Yeah, because year. that was that was oh, my was, first year managing yeah. and I recruited her. Yep. That's right. Okay. And I met Kevin in 2000. Eight? I think so. But yeah. when we were like 12? No, she I was, was 14. Yeah. <laughs> I was I'm turning 15. No, I was I'm helping with the drama club, you dick. No, 16. No, I was 16. No, 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 no. It's just like in 2008 <laughs> that she was 16. It doesn't it's oh. just yeah. young child over here. It's young Sorry. spring it's chicken like or something. Kid. God, that was a but fun no, show, though. It was, such, it was so great. Little, little shop of horrors. Sorry, to get back to the point that I was making, 2010 Rob was Red Dragon Rob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he sure was. He sure was. That sounds like a Heard fun story. story that was a, that for was another a night. time. 
I can't believe we haven't told you this story. Oh, you probably have, right. but I've it's, forgotten it. It's right. fine. I don't mind telling it. It's uh, from like 12 years ago at this point now, so it's it's not a big deal. Um, 2010, we had the uh, cast wrap up party for the stocks mm-hmm. at the Red Dragon Inn, or the Red Dragon Restaurant. Sorry, I'm thinking of the board game. Red Dragon Restaurant in Minneapolis, where they had, among other things, uh, they brought us cranberry vodka pitchers. Oh boy! Oh boy! And no, you, and the, they their sold house drink, their, their the house red drink, dragon, the red dragon, which is in a punch bowl, okay. essentially. Yeah, it's a punch bowl. Drink. Um, and uh, our manager at the time, Tony, said, "Until I say stop, buy drinks." Rut row. Well, because we had like party yeah, funds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had party, party funds. Fun, so, yeah. so she told us, you know. Until I stay, say stop, we're going to spend this money until it's gone, until you've drank all of it. And I Yikes. went, excellent. And boy, howdy, did we. <laughs> Challenge accepted. We, first of all, we all did. Yeah. Like, we all got oh, just. Yeah. I was quite blasted myself. <laughs> Shat faced. However. Not that bad, though. <laughs> However, I uh, discovered that I really, really enjoy cranberry vodkas. Uh-huh. And... Uh, the drink that they made there, not the Red Dragon. I had the Purple Rain. Mm, yes. Purple I was drinking. Rain. Which is a yeah. kamikaze purple with rain. something extra. Yeah. And it's some kamikaze p- with like Chamborg or purple. Like yeah. purple it was Curacao, I think. But nasty, yeah. Nasty. Anyways, it was, it was, it was very good because uh, I had two of them uh, along with uh, countless cranberry vodkas as a chaser <laughs> and as a break from the punch bowl. <laughs> as in... I want to. I want you to understand. Yeah, I was fucked. We also did shots. I think did yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, whiskey this, shots. This sounds like me at Sarah's thirtieth birthday party, arriving so. late and having to catch up. <laughs> so we drank like we wanted to die, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's not like I drink a whole bottle of Jameson by myself. No. <laughs> so so here's what I remember. I know we took pictures. I remember <laughs> taking the pictures. And then I remember like downing a whole glass of cranberry vodka and going, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. The next thing I remember. <laughs> Kevin's face. Is looking at. I have issues about the pictures. It, it, that's fair. Um, but the next thing I remember is looking at. They're not here to, to support this story, so I won't say their name. Um, a person. A person who's a friend of ours. Um, shoes and noticing that there was some sort of liquidy mm. substance on those shoes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, now th- this person was dating another member of the cast at the time, mm. uh, but was just looking out for me and, w- and waiting with me for my ride. Aww. And, uh, I just looked at their shoes and I went, Oh, I did that, didn't I? <laughs> you urkled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, I, I, I just, I, that's probably exactly what I said, in fact. Did, like, I, do did, that? did I do that? And the, the human in question just looks at me and goes, it's okay, Rob. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I found out later that they were wearing Converse. Oh. Yeah. Oh, those uh, are got, not watertight. I got picked up. I remember saying goodbye and sorry to this person and goodbye and sorry to Kevin, even though I don't think I did anything to Kevin. No, you, other than the fact that uh, somebody corroborated the group photo to be taken while I was having the second longest pee of my life <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> like, we're talking a good, like, minute and 48 <laughs> seconds. Oh, the only one good longer than that bladder. was St. Patrick's Day 2007. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a day that'll live in infamy. <laughs> but so they take a group stockades photo, yeah. and I'm not fucking in it! Aww. <laughs> he was in a couple of other ones that yes. were sort of candidy. Yeah. But not the actual the group, group the photo. Um, not group the official photo. photo. Um, that's fine. <laughs> you're, you're not still bitter about it 10 years bitter. later. <laughs> 12. 12 years um, later. Whatever it was, yeah. Whatever year it is. Um, but yeah, no. It's, so then, yeah, I, I remember waking up the next day going, I guess I'm spending the whole day on this couch here. This is comfy. And I remember then texting 
everyone from the party going, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I texted the manager, the assistant manager, the human who helped me out and whose shoes I ruined, Kevin, I think. Like, I texted everyone just like, oh my God, that was awful. I'm so sorry. And hearing everyone else tell this story later is just awful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised you'd never heard that never story. Heard. Yeah, I got fucking blotto and threw up on um Did you recently did you shoes. did you recently that, but... watch that episode of Simpsons? No. My name's blotto. Otto and I yeah. love to get blotto. <laughs> just the fact that you've used it twice now. Oh. And that's usually, you know, when somebody's you know, seen something that uses that word in a an amusing way. I feel like I must have it. seen it recently. Or the episode of Futurama with the Bender lookalike? Maybe. Is I don't that, know. Is his name like, Blotto? My, I think so. I'm like, pretty sure Matt it is. Matt Groening is the only time I've heard that used. Yeah. All right. The get Blotto. Um, yeah. Well, the character is oh. Bender's like twin, but he has a little beard. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mirror universe Bender. Yeah. Right. Mirror universe. All right. So there, there's the Red Dragon story. Nice. Mm. Thank oh. you for telling me. Thank mm-hmm. you for sharing. That apparently Fest is going to be open this year. Yeah. How it sure feel? is. How do we I, feel about that? I will be at Mermaid Cove. I have my audition, audition yeah. on uh, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday morning. I will be at Mermaid. Well, I'll be at Fest Grounds. I bought a new rapier and I'm planning on making new cloaks, so I'm glad. <laughs> Yay. This is for your musketeering, yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. Musketeering or <laughs> nope, because no. he hates me. Oh. <laughs> Specifically me. Yeah, no, it's, it's specifically correct. correct. Me. We hide yeah. it well, so, but truly so well. loathe each other. Yep. I can I can feel it. Yep. From you'll, across you'll the just table. Be there, Rob? Just, yep. just hanging out? No, I'm gonna be doing my town car. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. Which I have been looking forward to for two years. Nice. I love you. Mm. But I've been wanting to do this for almost two years now. And if it doesn't work, I'll come back next year. Yeah, but that next year, Will will be gone, and Mike and I might be doing our our knockoff Witcher and Dandelion shtick. Fair enough. I'll only be there half the time. I'm going to be there every other weekend in the last weekend because of my work schedule. Because at the rate I'm going gray, I probably won't even need to do anything. (laughs) It's fair. Probably not. So are you just going to be minus Aramis, or is somebody going to be Aramis and nobody be D'Artagnan? We're kind of half and half about it. Our thought is, if we can find someone, awesome. We would love to have... A fill in. If not, we're gonna kind of make a like a shtick out of it. Like Aramis, like basically, is, where's yeah. Aramis? Yeah. Where Aramis? Where Aramis? Banging yeah. the, the lady queen, in waiting. Yeah, some lady in waiting. Or yeah, something. Isn't he yeah like the, super religious the, and uh, no. Uh, he a yes. B also yes. Ah. Like he's super religious and a ho. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. He kind of f- fell out of the the church. Remember, way. he was played by Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that movie in five ever. And and uh, and uh, Jeremy Irons. Yeah. So like both, uh, yeah, both really interesting. Yeah. At one point, he studies to be part of the yeah, yeah the church, the priesthood, and then, and then falls out of it. And then, and then, then later like, on, he goes back and becomes a priest. Ah. It's mm. like, but but well, those only that, those only conceal his uh, his. Dealings as the people that were trying to overthrow the, the king, because yep. he he was under the cardinals. He was uh, with uh, studying under the cardinal, and then realized the cardinal was part of a plot um, and doing bad things. And then the, that's when he was a musketeer. And then he, he fell out, became a musketeer, then became a priest again to hide his identity as being in charge of the group that was like, whose name I can't remember. The to try to take over the. Yeah, which is the whole plot of Man in the Iron Mask. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I. Uh, You've not seen Man in the Iron Mask. I have. You? Oh, right. yeah. It's been That's a while. So it's been a hot second. It's a great movie. I still haven't ever seen it. What's wrong with you, Leonardo DiCaprio? We don't have that kind of time, Back honey. Fucking hot. Gabriel Byrne. Right. Jeremy Irons. Is that the one with John Malkovich? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's perfect. It was the first movie that like had dirty clothes. The shirts yeah. were not white. They were actually looked like they were worn. Yeah. Yeah. I love that movie. It's a great movie. Except for the fact that Leonardo DiCaprio can't seem to pronounce uh, Athos the same way in any part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. sounds right. 
Yeah. And uh, what's his name? The uh, the one kid uh, the uh, who plays Al- Athos' son. He's uh, oh, uh, Sarge, S- over S- there. S- uh, Svengard's son, Henry Cavill. No, no, that. But he was um, he was in uh, he was Delmont's son. In he was fucking he, Monte Cristo. Yeah, he oh, was okay. the asshole. Oh, uh, uh, he was the asshole in Boys Don't Cry. The brother of the girl. That doesn't help me at all. son in uh, Count of Monte Cristo was Henry Cavill. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. No, this other guy was. Somebody else, the uh, yeah. Svengard's son, I think. Henry oh. Cavill. Uh, Peter. It was Peter Skarsgård. Skarsgård. There we go. But more importantly, right. Gerard Depar fucking do is Porthos. Uh, yeah. It's true. He's, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. Overall, like, I don't think they've ever gotten Porthos wrong as far as casting. No. Maybe in the seventies, but I haven't seen that. Uh, long, that one horrible uh, John Woo Musketeer. Well, no, it was who played Porthos in that one. It was uh, uh, it was the Punisher, the second yeah. Punisher. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah that good. The yeah, guy he was, was actually pretty good. Yeah, he was in Ray King Stevenson. Arthur. Ray Stevenson. Yes. 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 Yeah. And then the BBC one. Uh, that guy was just recently in Shadow and Bone. If you, any of you have watched that yet on Netflix? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah, the, enge- in- the engineer. Oh, that guy. The kind of okay. darker yeah, skin yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah he's really good. Porthos, he Porthos too. Too. which is nice. funny because the other guy was. Was Athos yeah. in it? Yeah, yeah, the guy with the lip, the little the, scar on his lip. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I thought cast was great. Yeah, I like that cast too. Uh, I can't remember who played him in the original, so uh, the nineteen like sixties versions. Uh, I've never seen that one. Uh, they're kind of fun. They're they're I, they're very uh, uh, of their time. Yes, and very much like the 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 piratey swashbuckle. Sure. Mm-hmm. So if you want to watch a like if you have a weekend and you're like doing laundry or something, you want to watch a kind of fun swashbuckly movie, watch them. I think they're they're kind of fun. Something about Luke Evans, exactly. Sure, <laughs> he was in the the the, the sh- not the John Woo one, but the the sp- steampunk one that wasn't yeah. steampunk. Have you watched the, that yet? I still have not. I, I just have it. I, I, I should, before you leave, I'll give it to you. I, I don't know if I can. You can. You want to? You should okay. just for the horribleness of it. Fine. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, COVID! I'm dying. Yeah, probably. Um, Jesus. Speaking of Disney, though, they apparently they made a, a working lightsaber. They yeah. did, yeah. I not not for public consumption, but it's going to no. be for their cast members at their stupid, expensive hotel. Yeah, it's literally like a, an electronic tape measure that lights up. It's I know, but it's it's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I don't think they can sword fight with it though yet. I think oh, they can just no, no. We're getting they, there, man. Yeah, we're getting there. It's soon. three to five years. I'll be, I'll yeah. be carving the turkey with old green. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you need like a Yoda sized one so you could just like get a little more precise? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like the Wait, the the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, there you the, go. The, oh, yeah. the, the Zoe Deschanel one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. fun. Like. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they made a working lightsaber and they premiered it, and now everybody quote unquote working quote unquote quote, lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Separate quotes. Jesus. And the, the, the video that they showed was so kind of lame. It's just like somebody standing there and like and then like they move it once to the side and then that's it. That's it. Well, they can't it's wiggle they around can't to us. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Comes the wacky waving in our inflatable yeah. arm flailing tube man. Right. And so at first I thought it was like the, oh, is this supposed to be like the, the, the dealing with like a uh, the holograms of like Tupac on stage and shit, and I was like, "So is it just a smoke and mirrors trick?" And then I realized, and then I found out it was a electronic uh, tape measure that glows. I was like, "Okay," but you can't combat you can't com- uh, combat with it. So pff, fuck that. Okay, give, but give I time. would I would absolutely get behind a Tupac smoke and mirrors version of the lightsaber because yeah, you can't do anything with it, but at least it moves in a solid state sort of way, and you can. You see it. Right. Like, it looks real. Right. That would be neat. Yeah. Right. I don't know how you do that, and I don't know if we have the technology to do that yet, but, like... You absolutely do. Yeah. And, yeah, you wouldn't be able to fight with it, but you could definitely do some cool moves with it and shit. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'd well, watch that. I'd, I'd get one of those. Yeah. For, like, a stage show, you probably could. But yeah. at the same time, if, you, if you're on the stage show, why don't you just use the ones that you have? You know, so, I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Although the magician that I, I just I worked, we did our first show at the AIM Center, and uh, the magician that's there, who I've done his shows many times, showed me his new trick, which is a hoverboard, an actually working hoverboard that he can throw across stage and he can float on it and all this other shit. And I was like, that's f- fucking cool. Neat. Yeah. It glows, too. It like lights up on it. It's fucking cool. 
I have a strong feeling that's part of it. Probably. Yeah. But it was the way he was showing me. It was pretty cool. I'm like, it looks pretty fucking real. Don't know how it's done. Yeah. Magnets. <laughs> how the fuck do they work? Magic. I don't know. I don't know because he doesn't carry. You'd have to carry like a magnetic floor or something. He doesn't something have magnetic. about electrons and. I don't know. Atomic aperture nonsense. lens flare. Like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Science words. <laughs> <laughs> Science, guys. Science. Yeah, bitch, you're science. Um, so, yeah, working lightsabers at Disney on their cruise uh, yeah. hotel thing or whatever. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, I'm disappointed to hear that it's just a floppy ass tape measure, but. Yeah. It was still cool looking. I mean, it's cool, but like, I didn't know that's what it was, and that's too bad. Still don't want to stay at their hotel, though, because I don't want to play a character while I'm on vacation. That's fair. That sounds like exactly what I want to do. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I'd do that. I basically did the last time I was at Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, but like your entire time you like Fucking you're out. Kylo at, Ren and yeah, right. But you're like the time you're out and then you out in the sun all day long and then you come back and they're like they want you got to be a character. You're like I don't feel like that. I've been to full immersion steampunk conventions, <laughs> man. I'm ready for this. Yeah. All right. But yeah, and I've done LARP weekends. You could. Yeah. As long as there's space where I can. Not be honestly being somewhere where like the staff casually refers to me as a Star Wars character. How is that not the fucking dream? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin will be half erect the entire time, Just the whole time. But I think it's super drunk, and then you gotta be like, oh, gotta be in character. I'm like, where the fuck can I get some death sticks up in here? <laughs> <laughs> like, you've never been drunk on stage, <laughs> right? Never, <laughs> ever. Ever been drunk? No, what, is, what is he, Devin? Yeah, we had a rule about it. I mean, I'm not saying that we, that we made after <laughs> Devin. <laughs> <laughs> this has a true oh. story. Was that was that with when I was on stage with him, or was that? I don't remember who was on stage with him, but it was definitely that same yeah. year. It was it was that twenty? There was that year. there was that one was year though. We year. we kept getting free beers. Like it was like the last day. Yeah, we kept that getting was free like, yeah, beers. Beer. And man, I got pretty damn close to getting drunk. I'd like pace myself towards you. I'm like, fuck, I gotta just stop for a minute. Drink, maybe drink some water. Yeah, they were taking good care of us over at Sheriff's. Although the la- our last last day. Oh, yeah. I mean, over at Mr. Black. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last, our last show, I was fucking shit faced. Yeah. Yeah. It's well on my way. Well, damn shots. It's not like we were drinking water up there. <laughs> It was cold and rainy and yeah, crappy. That. I mean, I think both you and I had a beer in our mugs. Oh, yeah. 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 Is there any other way to perform that? Mm-hmm. It's the only way to put up with Mr. Black. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> true story. Yes. Oh, man, we just keep walking right, I know. We're, yeah, God, we're just... We are all over around. the place today. Should we talk what? about the goddamn Phase 4 thing or what? Yeah, we should. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Phase 4 Ow. was uh, announced uh, with a lot of fun things in their titles. So, like, I want to talk about that trailer for a second, just sure. because that was, I thought that was a great sort of reintroducing of the goal. of like It was, it was like a value statement. It was very much just, you know, they were... They very much just went, okay, so here's what we've done. Here's what you've come to expect from us. Okay, here's where we're going. And it stands, so the whole time you're just like, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just how yeah. many you want. Just take my wallet. How many times can Marvel break my heart? The answer is <laughs> the Inf- limit does not exist. Is infinity. <laughs> I, I definitely was having some feels with the stand narration. Well, and and the the very <laughs> tender shots of Chadwick Boseman they showed <gasps> oh, like yeah. that was oh god whew, whew. the one with uh, him and uh, Michael B. Jordan mm. it's like this oh, yeah. man is is your brother I'm yeah, like, like oh you <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> I'm not crying you're crying whoever put this together is the worst you're dumb I love them right <laughs> and then Nebula and Gamora. Oh, I right. loved that. That was just. I was hoping for some Spider-Man footage, but alas, not. Especially with it coming out this year still. Oh yeah, is it coming out this year? Yeah, December, right? Like November, or December. Yeah, yeah. It's the only one that's held some sort of schedule. 
I was trying to find a picture of the uh, so I could like, the stuff uh, read the announced. actual names. And, and like, there's one that's got all the names, but I can't read them all because it's a tiny picture. Um, but it looks like obviously Black Widow for this year. Uh, Black Widow, Shang Tsung, or Shang <laughs> Shang Tsung, Shang uh, Shang Chi, the ten rings of the whatever. Uh, You're doing great. I know I am. <laughs> I love how you the looked Eternal, it up. The Eternals. I thought that was already out, but it, apparently no, it's not. it's not. You're thinking of um, uh, uh, that uh, really shitty one with uh, Black Bolt and Medusa that had like an episode where it was like, this is stupid. Inhumans. Yes. Inhumans. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That one. And Spider-Man. Uh, that's the, you're yeah, right. No, yeah. no Way Home. No Way Home. No Way Home. Uh, no yeah. clips from that. Nope. nope. We got clips from Eternals. We got clips from Shang-Chi. Black Widow. Black, Black Widow. Widow. Um, but I think uh, the, the, the one thing I'm real excited about is uh, that they, uh, they're not even actual announcements other than title announcements. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Yep. yep. And the Marvels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm here. Which uh I'm in. is either gonna be some kind of uh the the Carol Core or possibly her Ms. Marvel and Photon. Yeah, right. that's I'm guessing it's gonna be her Ms. Marvel and Photon. Because they've all been they're all slated to to appear. Mm-hmm. Right, hmm. because that's so. M- M- the Marvels is November of 2022, but Ms. Marvel, the show on Disney Plus, is 2021. It just says late 2021. Okay, mm-hmm. so it'll come out later this year. Yeah, yeah but this, of course, was all movies, none of the shows. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just movies. Marvels of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, Blade, Quantum Mania, and Fantastic Four. <sighs> Did they? An- they teased something that is suspiciously well, like very much the, like the Fantastic Four logo. Yeah, at the end, it was I'm, like the Fantastic Four yep, logo, and I was like, yep. that's not it, but it, this is Phase it is, Four. It's, it, yeah. was a, it was a good sort of will-they-won't-they they uh, tease, in my opinion, because like I've been hurt already. I was going like, to say, please, God, I've no. I've been hurt by Marvel before. Well, they said, it says 2023, so I would, I would imagine it's just Maybe. barely in development. Yeah, it's, I, I, I've been hurt. But I, I'm cautious. I'm cautious on that Fantastic Four reveal. I like, know there might be Jordan movie. Yeah. 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 Sure. Well, if you want to call it a movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was not a movie. It was just scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And I know how much you were excited about it, and that like the reveal for that is great. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't mean to dampen your excitement about it. It's just I, if they I, wanted to just be Phase Four, they wouldn't have made it look like the Fantastic Four logo. No, it's I, the Fantastic Four. Suck me. I've been <laughs> hurt before. Before. Yeah. And after. Yeah. What did they do during no one division? No teeth. What did they do to us during one division? They gave it to us and then they took away. They they took their ball and went home. Uh huh. But with with it's V four, and they can take it away. Fantastic still. Four. Still not. <laughs> Fantastic Four is still not mutants. Rescue mutant. Ranger. They're oh, still no. not mutants though. I know they're still they're not, not mutants. mutants. So they would probably still do it. I would. And they yeah, are going to do it. Yeah, the Fantastic Four are mutants. So no. you know go. why they're not right. doing mutants? Green Richards is fantastic. <laughs> Johnny is the Human Torch. Dear Marvel, please have Kevin do the theme song. Please, God, have him do the theme song. Yes, please. I want this in my life. You have to do like the the cool like that's like the cool theme song, and at the end you have to do it like with uh, who's the guy that did all the, the end of the Disney movies? Michael Bolton. No, not Michael Bolton. Uh, Aaron Neville, the, the classic <laughs> version of that same song with Aaron Neville, because <laughs> it's always a duel. It's always a duel yep. with Aaron yep. Neville. Yep. It was like the nineties, yep. uh, the Disney nice. classic, Aladdin, Lion King, yep. Yep. Beauty and the Beast. Well, he wasn't in Lion King, but Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Beast and Aladdin were his two big ones. So yeah, yeah. I remember Come that. On. I want this in my life. Let's make it happen. <laughs> and Aaron Neville's got to be cheap now. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> Lion King was Peebo Bryant, was it? I have no idea why I know that, but yes. Hmm. Good for you. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> How is that news? You just have a big brain full of facts and sadness. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rob just got red today. <laughs> Welcome back, Megan. <laughs> I missed you guys. Putting Rob in his place. <laughs> the thing is, it was both a compliment, like it was this sweet compliment wrapped in a piling shit of insult. 
<laughs> my God. Hi, this is how Megan works. I was going to say, have you met me? Jesus, that was... I'm a Scorpio for a reason. <laughs> got a sting to you. Uh, we also got to mention the obvious ones that we've talked about many times. Doctor Strange, Multitude yep. uh, Madness. And Multiverse of Madness. Thor, Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder. Excited, delighted for all of those. Absolutely. Um, and they also announced... I mean, and the, the thing that I'm looking at also has a Disney Plus uh, shows on it as well, which... I think most of them we know about. The only one I didn't know that they were doing was Ironheart. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's been announced. Yeah. It's been announced for a little while. And Armor Wars, which I wasn't... Also announced. Right, but I, I just remembered them. Oh, yeah, and we forgot to mention that uh, all of this, and then uh, we got the Venom 2 trailer just a few days ago. Yeah. Let there be Carnage. Yeah, I got a fresh look at Carnage. It was uh, it was good. It even had yeah. uh, a little Easter egg that people are kind of losing their minds about. Yeah, which one? That uh, there's a gentleman reading a newspaper, and on the newspaper it says uh, Avengers lose to Nightmare. Yeah, I saw I saw the newspaper. Yeah. I didn't. I couldn't read what was on it because I my pause button and Nightmare is heavily heavily rumored to be in um, Doctor Strange two. Huh? Mm. It would make sense. So we're wondering if that is going to be a multiverse pull. Mm. Um, like the, another version of the Avengers lost to him mm-hmm. in that universe, and mm-hmm. that's where they're going to do the pullover. Yeah. I still want to know when they're going to bring in Mr. Sinister, but um, X Men stuff, it's, man. It, I know, it, but they teased it, they, it they, they, so many times that it just died. Yep, <sighs> especially New Mutants. That was it's that's the Fox verse that doesn't. I know. Just give me Omega Red, right? I don't know why he's. I I like him. Did you like him? I don't know why. Did you like him prior to the animated series? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Because I just remember that he, that's where he made, like, most people know him from the, the 90s animated series. Yeah, because uh, even before the animated series, I got a pack of Fleer Ultra cards. Mm-hmm. Like, 92 Fleer Ultra cards. And he was one of the cards, and I was just like, who the fuck is this guy? So, you, so I went to the comic store. I got some X-Men comics with mm-hmm. fucking Omega Red. I was like, this guy fucking rules. I like his whip things. I thought my brother introduced me. Pooping into my cupped hand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my brother introduced me to Omega Red before the, uh, the animated series. And then I thought, mm-hmm. I thought for a brief second that's who, uh, what is that, so supposed to be in Iron Man 2. I thought he was supposed oh. to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was not, not right. But yeah, Marvel has work. a couple of dudes with, with, yeah. with metal whippies, so. So I'm not knocking your thing on Omega Red, but like the thing that turns me off about Omega Red is that description like that's how i feel like a lot of people were introduced to omega red and i'm like so, so you thought he was he looked cool and therefore you became cool with like i mm. no i thought he looked cool so i invested in learning about the character yeah and Is then that you, not you, how a lot of fandoms work yes that, of Bubba course Fed, that's how weirdly a lot pretentious of, and gatekeepy it is not trying to be that's fair, though. I understand. <laughs> I just, I, like, it's not me trying to be gatekeepy. It's just me saying, like, that That doesn't always work for me. Like, I guess I just remember a lot of people going, oh, he looks so cool. And then, like, what does he do? Nobody ever told me. So I, I actually never, I don't have the story on Omega Red. All I know is that people think he looks cool. I'm like, okay. He was a mostly Wolverine. He was a basically a, a Russian uh, Weapon X experiment. Yeah, was, sure. <clears throat> was, okay. Yeah, he was like a, a bad guy for Wolverine to fight after. Yeah. Like Sabretooth kind of lost his <laughs> like the appeal. F- well, yeah, appeal. Pretty much. That's the, fair. Comic people were like, eh, we're so bored with Sabretooth. Give us a new. Okay, person. but they tried. They did. And then they put they him with, did Sabretooth dirty. I don't know how many fucking times in the comics that like. Of course, people got tired of him. Well, even in the movies, they did too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. It was unfortunate because he's kind of a cool. I mean, Liv Schreiber did an all right job with Sabretooth. Better Kevin than Matt the first guy, yeah. uh, Tyler Maine. Yeah, I'll take Tyler Maine. I liked Tyler Maine. The wrestler. Yeah. yeah. With his weird Thor face. Yeah. And he's, yeah. Um, I think he's going to be somebody else coming Ooh, up here now, thanks. too. While you look that up, I was going to talk about the shows real quick, which we've gotten through most of them already. we got WandaVision, Winter Soldier, Loki's coming out here uh, this June month. June 9th. Oh, yeah. June 9th. Uh, and then we have What If, Ms. Marvel in late 2021, and Hawkeye. We have all those series coming still that yet this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And She-Hulk, Moon Knight. Uh, yep. Secret Invasion, Ironheart, Armor Wars. Secret I am, Invasion. I am Groot. That's and, interesting. 
Uh, some Guardian Groot. of the Galaxy holiday special. I Am Groot is going to be animated. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks yeah. like it's animated. Is that going to be like a kid's yeah. show? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I thought Secret Invasion was also animated, but am I wrong about that? Mm. I know What If is coming and that's animated. Yeah. But that's going to be interesting because it's using a lot of the... MCU. Oh yeah, he was. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched any of this yet, but Jupiter's Legacy. I've on it's on my list. I just saw finished it. Yeah. I just. I, I, we've only watched the first. Uh, I think half of it. Uh, but he's he's Black Star. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Tyler Manius. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Is that neat? Is that uh, what's his name as the lead in that Jupiter Star? Uh, uh, Josh Duhamel. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The guy that he's if I made a movie lead? about myself. Yeah. yeah. He's the old guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so very, very quick. Josh Duhamel uh, is old now? Very, oh. very quick. Spoiler no, free. With you. <laughs> no, he's not old. Very quick. Spoiler free review of uh, Jupiter's Legacy. Half of the show is really fucking good. The yeah. other half is not my favorite. Okay. But half of it is the mummy ridiculousness, and I love <gasps> it. I love the mummy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't care terribly much like i was okay with it at first and like i got into it it was fine but like at some point in the show you'll notice that you're gonna enjoy the 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 flashback stuff a lot more like it's become it's gonna become so much more important to you was it the chloe episode that was the turn for you (sighs) yeah am i supposed to have sympathy for her because i don't (laughs) yeah i i don't know why you're supposed to have she gets better, but no, yeah, like I don't get the thing about Chloe because she's just a spoiled rich kid. Just spoiled rich kid, yeah. She's a she's a Hilton. She's a yeah. Kardashian. Oh, yeah. Gross. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I I highly suggest watching it. Uh, the from what I've watched so far, it's I did just been quite good. Finish like Invincible. She says, you just finished what Invincible. Oh, God. <laughs> she does show her trauma side a little. Yeah. Um. So, sorry. So yeah. Sorry, um, Jupiter's Legacy. Chloe does show her trauma side a little, and that's, I don't think endearing's the right word, but like, she, they, they flesh her out. Okay. Mm. But yeah, I don't, I don't, it doesn't do enough, I think. And also, it doesn't, they don't do nearly enough with fucking Brandon, who's just so one dimensional. Yeah. All the good stuff is the flashback stuff, I think. Enjoy enjoy the rest of it. I, I I I recommend watching all the way through the end because mainly the flashback stuff because it's real good and real mummy and King Kong and thirty cereal. Yeah. It's fun. Is, is it episodic or do they just dump it and binge worthy? Yeah, it's, it's a binge. It's a binge. So okay. it's all it's all it's, all it's a binge. It's on my list. I saw it. And I was Balls like, oh, that out. looks interesting. Yeah. Well, if you can finish it before, before next uh, podcast, maybe we can have a little chit chat about it. Probably can. There's a uh, there's a sex scene that is just wait, are there boobies in this with Josh Duhamel and Leslie Bibb doing their little sex scene. Ah, are there titties in this? Or what? Not even a little. Okay. Gotcha. For those who don't know who Leslie Bibb is, she was the reporter from the first two Iron Man movies. Yeah, she was. Uh, that. Tony unseasonably banged. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Pepper Potts got in the house. Yeah. Unseasonably, including banged. taking out the trash. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. That's a good line. Uh, so, anyways, so Jupiter's legacy, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, so phase, four. phase four. Yeah. Phase anyway, four. phase four. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I'm excited for phase four. It yeah, looks... it was a good trailer. It was a solid marketing play, and I I dig it. Um, Real quick, can we talk about that Loki trailer? Because there was a new Loki trailer that came out. And I have one... First of all, it looks awesome. It makes the show look even more better. But I have one question. More even more better. What's your question? Is question. that... Uh, is, that's that's Black Widow that he sits there and talks to, who's facing away in that we're, land of purple. We're fairly certain, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. Well, we think that's how they're, how they're going to bring her back. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. I love Black Widow. So I'm good. I'm expecting a lot of banter between Hiddleston and Wilson. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I I think that's an excellent casting too. Is yeah, because um, say what you want about Owen Wilson. Wow, 
Um, wow. I'm a dog. I'm a talking dog. Whose dog am I? <laughs> but he knows his way around words. He like does. he is, he's a very witty uh, actor, oh, and, absolutely. and he's. I think he's very funny and, and very good with a. If he's got a good script behind him, he can. Yeah. He can walk. He can talk circles around it. So. I loved him in Night in the Museum, and I don't know Shanghai Noon and that other one, Shanghai Nights. I think is the other second one. Shanghai Noon sure was good. <laughs> I know, but. Did Night anybody at the else? Museum was a movie. Wait, you said piss shirt don't break. Not wait, what shirt don't break? Not piss shirt Ben bars. <laughs> <laughs> Who's dog am I? <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom scene. Uh, I like my terrible. I like the 1960s like spy movie feel that the TVA. Yeah, I dig it. Like headquarters. I'm all has. about that. I also like the suggestion that Loki is actually DB Cooper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's a there's an urban legend we haven't talked nearly enough about no. lately. We all got into DB Cooper in the like late early or like mid aughts because of without a paddle. without a paddle, yeah. And, a, and then we all stopped oh, talking yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Dax Shepard, Seth Green, and, and Matthew Lillard. Yeah. And Burt Reynolds. <laughs> and Burt Reynolds. Reynolds. Who was actually very good in that, I thought. Wow. wow. Without a paddle. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I haven't thought about that movie. I'm a talking talk. <laughs> Today's word is, oh, uh, wow. I'm a talking dog. <laughs> Today's word is, wow. 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 Jesus, Overplayed. Yep. yep. No, uh, it's, no. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, so Loki. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, uh, first uh, couple episodes of the Bad Batch came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I I am too. I this is animated, right? Yeah. Is it is it a new Star Wars trope where the hardened badass meets a cute kid and then instantly becomes a dad? <sighs> yes. Or is that just me? Yeah, kind yes. of, sort of. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I was kind of hoping not for that because it doesn't. I don't know if they're hardened badass, but just more of a warrior. It's warrior. not not Commando. Since yeah. 1977. But that was his own kid in Commando. It's just we wouldn't have considered Alec Guinness a hardened badass no. at that time. That story is fleshed out later. Yes. Not not Leon the Professional. There you go. Yeah. Never seen Meets that. the A-team. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Thousand percent Star Wars the A team. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. They're not even shy about it. I keep nope. expecting it to just to just phase in real gently and phase out like They were once criminals. <laughs> when you're in trouble, you call the bad patch. Friggin' tech just going uh I pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Like the um, skinny British, she won. Um, nah, I just want Yoda to pop up. <laughs> Pity the fool do I. I like how they very much, without giving much of a backstory, just drop you right in and give you the hints of to where they are because it starts right at Order oh, yeah. 66. And you see Kanan. Uh, no, what's his name? Not Kanan. Yes, Kanan. Uh, yeah, is Kanan. it Kanan? Yeah. You see Kanan's backstory, which we all heard about but never saw, and now we get to see it. And then uh, we see a very young... Um, uh, uh, Gal Guerrera. Yep, and then uh, Sagra. 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 and Sorry. then uh, Crosshair is painted. A, I'm going to betray you in really large color and like yes. really large letters on his helmet. Yes, he mm-hmm. did. I'm just waiting for. Uh, so uh, interestingly, uh, uh, Jupiter's legacy. Real quick, um, yeah. George the the blonde, his best friend. Oh okay. yeah, okay. Uh, is Anakin Skywalker in all of the non? Oh, that's movie right. Related. He is. Yeah, he's, he's the, voice. the voice of Anakin gotcha. for yep for everything. Clone Wars, and I'm sure this at some point. And, yeah, mm. George Hutchins. Yeah, yeah. The character's name is George Hutchins. And it's I funny because he he, he looks like he could have just played Anakin Skywalker. He's good. He's a very pretty man. Mm. Right. Um, when, Freddie t- Prince Jr. was the uh, yeah. voice of the. The, the little Jedi. Yet still the kid version of him, uh, which was mm-hmm. very awkward because he was very small. And he was like, uh, and so yeah. I, what's this Order 66 thing? I'm 12. This, <laughs> I'm totally 12 years old. Uh, he well, had a very deep voice. It was very funny. Didn't we have a discussion about this a while ago uh, when we were talking about the Order 66 and that some people believe that there were no Jedi that actually survived the Order 66? I'm like, there has to be. There has oh, to be. There has to be. Well, I mean, there canonically is now Jedi that were. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, That's more a, every day, it seems. They just keep popping out of the goddamn woodwork, despite not being in the, in the original trilogy at all. Yeah. Uh, no plot hole, but whatever. Uh, apparently, the, not that's all. how stormtroopers prove to not be good at their jobs. Well, they're clones, you mean? Yeah, they're cl- the stormtroopers were. Well, that's going to be the whole, you know, shtick of this show is right. the, the transition from clones, clones to, to stormtroopers. Right. Okay. Right. Because that's the whole thing was that that's the whole Order 66 and that there was, a, they all, everybody always wondered, well, how do they follow this order? And they just say, no, well, because they were programmed to fucking follow it. Yeah. Turns out sure. Tarkin, uh, cloning no likey. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's weird. I don't like it. Get rid of it. Yeah. Grandma Tarkin didn't. Oh, neat. he's not. He's not. He's only an admiral. He's, in this yeah, so he's far. only an admiral. At this uh, point. Sure. But pretty much, he's like. But yeah, you know, he's, he's on his way to Grand Moff. He yeah. sure. He has to get to that Moff stage and then Grand Moff. Yeah. Doesn't he have to? to he has to, to pupate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, and then he'll crawl out of his cocoon yeah. and then and, and you know hang there for a couple days on his wings. Beautiful butterfly. But even a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Uh, but even no, in a moth, moth, but, <laughs> grand moth, yeah, and then he becomes. That's why moth. he got distracted by all those lights in the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't I? I've always thought since the original trilogy that there had to be some Jedi that survived and just went into hiding, other yeah. than Obi Wan and Yoda. Uh, just because not all of them were around uh, clone troopers, they weren't all leading clone trooper armies. They might have just been. Who knows where? Yeah, uh, but the continued around. sort of plumbing of that section of the the canon is starting to stretch credulity for me. Well, not really, because there's a whole series after the movies that was comic book where Vader was still hunting down Jedi, which which he did right after. Like right now in the storyline, he's pretty much still hunting Jedi. Sure, I mean uh, that was the whole um, like setup of Force Unleashed. Yeah. Was you start the game as Vader, and it's and it's awesome because you can't jump, you can't run, you just pimp walk everywhere, <laughs> force push Wookies <laughs> off of bridges. And sometimes your own stormtroopers. If he's in the way, he's in the way. It's an achievement for that for killing enough of your own stormtroopers. Yeah, and it's called Boss of the Year or something. <laughs> world's greatest boss, I think. Yeah, I think it's world's best boss. World's best boss. Um, but yeah, and then you know you find a you know a Jedi and his kid who are both. You know, the kid's super strong in the forest and he becomes a secret apprentice. And that's right. why you never heard of him. Yeah. Before. That sounds like fan fiction. It, it, it was. was fan it was. fiction, the video game, I and I swear loved it. Swear to God. Especially because it was Sam Whitmer and he's, oh, yeah. he's he is the Star Wars boy. Right. Sam Whitmer. And of course, that name from Whitmer. 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 Okay. I'm thinking of someone else. He was in Supergirl and Smallville. He was he's the voice of Darth Maul in Everything. not just solo, but all the Clone Wars and Rebels oh. and Yep. I haven't really watched right. anything besides Bad Patch. And sure. a couple episodes Rogue One. of Clone Wars. You should uh, the first kind of half of Clone Wars I thought was very difficult to get through. It's it's it, the animation style for me. It's and it, not it my changes jam. It, it changes it yeah. up as it goes. Um, and uh, basically a, about the halfway point where Anakin uh, goes like this dimensional ship and finds out that he's supposed to, whether or not he's supposed to be the chosen one, is where the show fucking turns it around. Mm. It becomes a lot mm. better. Unpopular opinion, the 2003 2D chunky line animation Clone Wars is my favorite. Sure was chunky line. It looked, uh, it looked like the Clerks animated series. Yeah. I You're talking about the, that one, the, yeah. the Clone War little ninety second episodes one? Yeah, no? yeah, that one. Yeah, that was, that was like no words whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. I love those. That was my favorite uh, Mace Windu one where he destroys an entire clone army by himself. I mean, there are some some of them are are have script in them, but like for like the first five or six episodes, there's no dialogue, and I love right. it. Nice. And yeah. we're a lot of. Just, and where a lot of people got their first introduction to Kit Fisto and what he could really yep. do. And uh, General Grievous. Oh, yeah. Yep. General Grievous. We find out why he was wheezing and coughing. In the, yep. Yep. Because yeah. that was a setup. They were supposed to set that up for that weird Clone Wars movie. The animated one. God, that movie sucks. It sucks so bad. It's so bad. Worst ever. Only the good thing that that movie gave us was a Sogatano. Mm-hmm. Yep. The, yeah. Certainly not the baby hut. Yeah. <laughs> that a- worst. Worst uh, Star Wars, almost. I would rather watch the uh, Ewok uh, little Endor movies than the fucking... Caravan of Courage. Yeah. 
Uh, I watched those as a kid. I did too. I loved them. I, I, loved I would them. rather watch those again as an adult than watch that stupid Clone Wars. Isn't Disney supposed to be putting on their big boy pants and putting those on Disney Plus? They, they, they are, are on Disney are. Plus. Yeah, are they now? They are. Yeah, they are. Go fucking watch those. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I'm We're afraid doing a to. Podcast, Kevin. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to lose the magic it was as a kid. And if I watch it, I'll just be like, Why did I think this was so fucking good? Because I was a kid, I also thought yeah. Time Bandits was, was a great movie. Because you're seven, because you're, you're seven, seven, and your brain is mush. Right, and I, th- <laughs> I also thought Time Bandits was a great movie as a kid, but it also has Robin Williams in it, so it's kind of pretty cool. I mean, it lo- at least it wasn't Time Cop. I oh, know, wait, that wasn't that wasn't Robin Williams. I love that movie. I know. Time I'm sorry. Cop? He was in he was in the Adventures of Baron uh, von Munchausen. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. It's what? the worst movie of all time, and I love it. John Claude okay. Van Damme? Come on. Oh, never seen God. it? No. Oh, God. They come up Horrible. with this absolute hootenanny where, like, Wait, somebody... Wait, are we ta- talking Time, time cop? cop? Time Cop. Okay, time cop. I've, I've, like, seen clips. Where, <laughs> where, they, where they laughably misconstrue the two <laughs> of the same objects cannot occupy the same space. Whereas they they feel that means that if your past self and your future self touch, you merge into each other and become a pile of goo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's got the cheesiest one-liners. Love it. You know, guns with infinite ammo, titties, Jean-Claude <laughs> Van, Van Damme's butt, because I'm pretty sure it's contractually obligated to be in every movie he's in. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. But this was, he was in his prime, so it's, oh, yeah. it's looking, yeah, it's, it's looking it's, meaty. Yeah. It's, oil, it's oiled up, muscly Van Damme. It's, right. it's, nine, it's early 90s at its, at its maximum. <laughs> Speaking of John, wasn't he in, no, it wasn't John, maybe it was, Cyborg? Uh, Do you remember that movie uh, at all? Uh, yes, vaguely. It's the first time Ange- you see titties in that movie too. It's Angelina well, yeah, Jolie's titties. Yeah, if, if it was if it was late early nineties and like mid to late eighties, if it was an action movie, it had titties. there was going to be boobs in it. Yeah, yeah there's this movie called <laughs> yeah. Cyborg. It's I miss you, Hollywood. Horse shit. <laughs> I miss you, Hollywood. <laughs> Although another movie that came out re- recently that what was released on Hulu, Amazon Prime was Robot Jocks, which was another movie I loved as a kid. Which is literally like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. It sounds the, awful. Uh, it's the uh, worst. Like if you. <laughs> The worst, like animated, uh, rock'em sock'em robots you could possibly oh imagine. God. It's oh yeah, I definitely remember this movie. Robot jocks. Robot jocks. That's yeah. all I need to know. Yeah, just watch it's, it. It's horseshit. It actually sounds like it's it's about horseshit. it's it's yeah. I, I don't remember what it is. Like they're they have to fight in this thing, and this guy that doesn't want to be a fighter gets wheeled in and and has to fight. But they like they pilot these giant robots. Um, which is my, my thing as a kid because I love Robotech and all that other shit. Mm-hmm. So, sure. of course, I love this movie, but only like half of it where they start actually fighting the first part of it. Like much like Dune is <laughs> boring. We sure didn't actually talk about the the Carnage, the Let There Be Carnage movie. Except sure for did that, not. That wow. one Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> I just so realized. Venom. Hey, when's Let There Be Carnage? When's that Dune movie supposed to come out? Anyway, anyways, next uh, year. I, I thought it was supposed to come out like soon, four soon, months ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who knows at this point? Um, but yeah, Venom. Let There Be Cunt. Carnage. Hilarious. It's fun. Delightful. Yeah. Like, I literally just want a superhero movie, specifically Venom. That's just Eddie slash Venom. Just going about his day. Yeah, that's all I want. I just, like, like that's, that breakfast that he threw together, <laughs> I literally just want a 90 minutes of that. I don't need <clears throat> action or whatever. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Eddie Brock looks very, like, just, like, he hasn't slept in forever. Oh, yeah. But he looks a lot better in this one. In the, the first one, he looked like a, did the entire movie, he yeah. was a sweaty, disheveled pile of garbage. Right? <laughs> yeah. And this one, it looks like he's actually gotten his life together yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Right, a little bit. Eating but a little bit It just bit seems healthier. like Venom is just annoying, that annoying, that Per child that won't like, go to sleep. He's, <laughs> he's the he's the uh, he, he is they're the odd couple. Yeah, he's yeah. he's the Oscar to Eddie Brock's Felix. Felix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's all the other vibe I was getting. Yep. October first for Dune. Okay. Sweet. Okay. September twenty fourth for Venom. October first. Okay. Is it on? Is it just theaters or is it going to be? On? By then, I'm sure. I yeah. think theaters. Venom I guess, yeah. specifically said. Yeah, in it's just only theaters. in theaters. Only yeah, it theaters. says only in theaters. Which is smart. Okay. okay, we'll see. It's to try to get people back in. Theaters, yeah. Man. I mean, heck, Wrath of Man just came out, and I think that was theaters only. Hmm. Aaron just suggested we should like, like go see a movie, and I'm like, I don't even know what. 
Movie is theaters are open. Out. Yeah. Or like, what movie theaters I don't think are open? The last movie I, I saw was was Monster Hunter World in a, a theater that it was just a group of us where it was just us. Yeah. You know, you have to rent out the whole thing, yeah. basically. Um, and then the last movie before the pandemic hit was Bloodshot. Vin Diesel. Boy, oh, you, you made some choices there, huh? Well, Yikes. The, I'm the sorry. The Monster Hunter was for somebody's birthday. I didn't have a choice in that. But uh. Bloodshot. I didn't think it was going to be my last movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. I think the last movie I saw in a theater was something in October, right before I got COVID. Endgame. Pretty sure it was. No, no, it was mm. Spider Man. Sorry. I can't remember the last movie. But I was movie the only I one. I went in the middle of the day. I, the only reason I went because I went in the middle of the day and I knew I'd be safe. And I was the only one in the theater. So mm. I totally was like 100%. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what fucking movie it was, though. Hmm. I just did my taxes and I found the two receipts for my popcorn and food. So I, dear listener, uh, tell us what uh, what movie it was because yeah. I know Nick mentioned it. Just or tell us what your last movie was that you saw before. Yeah, the, what was your last movie before the pandemic? Before the pandemic, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Rise of Skywalker for a lot of people because that came out. <gasps> oh yeah, might have been the tail right. end of 2019. I feel like that yeah, well, was mine. That might have been what it was then. Rise of Skywalker. I can't. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I can't remember. I could probably go back and look, but pff, why? I'm guessing it was Rise of Squ- Skywalker. 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 Squawker. 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 What was the last movie you saw in the theater, actually? So that would be a better yeah. question. Ah, so yeah, Jupiter's like Loki's trailer. Jupiter's like Jupiter's like a trailer. Venom 244. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so we talked about Bad Batch. Venom 2 looks good. Stranger Things. Uh, Stranger Things. And then Megan wanted to talk about Shadows and Bones. Shadow and Bones? That too. Is it Shadow, or Shadow and, and Bone? Bone? Wow. I don't know. Boy, there are a whole lot of Maybe, maybe I was watching the wrong one. That was a porno version where it was Shadow and Bones. Yeah, it's a like the Hedgehog <laughs> porno, Shadow and Bone. Okay, I saw I was on Etsy because this joke is what was I just do for, you, Kevin. for work. <laughs> it's not what I do for yeah, work, Rouge but I literally just sit there and dick around on the computer. Anyway, hopefully my boss isn't listening. Um, so I search Mine shadow. Mine is, I do not sit around and, and <laughs> fuck around on my computer. Yes. He totally does. I, I searched shadow and bone and a t-shirt came up in the, in the show font that said shadow and bone me. <laughs> and yes. I almost <laughs> bought it. I I heard the word almost, and I am very disappointed in you. There, they that same Etsy shop. I can't remember the name of it. Also had one that says Ben freaking Barnes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus! Earthquake! Holy shit! Sorry. And, and Kaz freaking Brecker. I'm like I want all three of these. But yes, Shadow and Bone. Me, I liked it. No, yeah? I, I loved it. Yet. it. Yeah, it was. I don't I even know what it is. Very confused for the first three episodes on what the fuck was going on. Yeah, who the fuck are these people? What the fuck is this country? Why does everyone <laughs> hate Asians? This sure is Russia. Oh, I get sure it. Is it's Russia. Anastasia. Neat. I'm in now. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That that yeah, that pretty much sums up the first three episodes there. Cool. <laughs> Um, Anastasia. Yeah, no, I Prince I, Caspian ass bitch. Oh god. Ben Barnes. <laughs> no, is, Ben Barnes, sure. Whew. Sorry, I need a minute. He sure <laughs> is my favorite jigsaw. He was jigsaw? Yeah. He yeah. was jigsaw. In the I Punisher. Don't. Yeah, the Punisher uh, jigsaw. Oh, yeah, Marvel's yeah, the, jigsaw, the, not, not, not saw. War, not, yeah, okay. Or, I'm with you now. Warzone war jigsaw. Yeah, jigsaw or which war was jigsaw. But yeah, the uh so I read the books. I started with the Six of Crows, which is the uh, the Ketterdam people, Kaz and Inej and Jesper. I started with those books, went back and read the original three uh, Shadow and Bone books. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I just started the last book in the, the Grishaverse, which is what Lee Bardugo's books are called in the show. Um, Rule of Wolves, which focuses on a character that we haven't met yet in the show. Who? His name is Nikolai. Nikolai. See, that sounds like a character we should have met in the show. He's going to be worth the wait. He's Uh, very important, and I cannot wait to see who they cast for him. I assume he'll show up in season two, because season two will most likely be book two, and he is... A big part of book two and how are beyond. they uh, how are they doing on following the book? So 
there are like the two plot lines, all right? So there's the Ketterdam people, the, 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 the crows, the six of crows, but they aren't six yet. They're only three. Um, Spoilers. <laughs> and then there's, uh, there's the like shadow and bone people, the Alina, Mal, uh, Ben Barnes, the Darkling. I'm just going to call him Ben Barnes because... I don't know. Because why not? Because why, why not? not? I was calling him Prince Caspian all the time. That, so. t- that too. I will call him Jigsaw. <laughs> um, so they, in the Shadow and Bone books, they're entirely told from Alina's perspective. Um, so we miss out on a lot of, of the, the, the Darklings scheming and Mal's whole journey to find this mythical white stag, which will hopefully bring him back to Alina because they are separated in the beginning of the show. Sounds dirty. Not really. Damn. It doesn't get dirty until later. Not interested. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, they, they do a really good job following the book and then at the same time adding in the the crows because the crows didn't exist in the shadow and bone books. They didn't True. cross over until later. Yeah. Um, but I think they brought them in, in this iteration in a really good way. Um, because the, the crows are hired to go kidnap Alina spoilers, I guess <laughs> a little bit that's in the freaking I don't know, trailer. But yeah, it's it's very well done. The casting is just chef's kiss perfect. I just I couldn't have picked better people. Everyone is very attractive. Everyone is very attractive. Thank you. Oh, I, the show. No, yeah, keep, the show, Rob. I keep wow. feeling like Alina <laughs> could do more with her little power. Yes. Like so far, she just glows really hard, and it's like, why isn't she throwing out some Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha's up in this bitch? Because I feel like that should be something she can do. But the glow up is real. The glow up is real. The glow cool. up is real. Um, I feel like in the books, I can't remember if it's in book one or book two. She gets like some cute little mirror gloves where she can like throw a mirror and then bounce light uh, off of it. That's pretty cool. To like, you know, those fabricators, shoot man. Those fabricators. Um, I paid attention. Yeah. To the cafe. It's, I mean, and going into it with zero knowledge other than, oh, hey, I think I remember seeing those books on the, our bookshelf back yeah. when yeah, I lived with Crystal. Um, but other than that, you know, I never picked them up. So. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, it took me a few episodes to kind of get the hang of what the hell was going on. Uh, I have literally zero knowledge of any of this. And, so. and, and same. But uh, once I... They they do a, a good enough job. They maybe could have explained, given me yeah. a, a crumb of 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 um, a little like back, not backstory, but like um, world building or like is it the Witcher level of like dropping you in? Because that uh, you have to watch that show twice to make sure you know where you are. See, with the Witcher, I was never really lost. I wasn't and, like. And maybe I was that's lost, I, but I went for it anyways and I went finished into, it. And I went, oh, okay. I under, by the end, I figured out yeah. what, what everything was. And then I watched it again, and it made perfect sense. Yeah. That's how I was with The Witcher, but I feel like this is to a lesser extent. Okay. Because it doesn't quite do that, you know, the, the two timelines. Yeah, thing. no, it's not sure, two right. separate, it's just they four don't, separate timelines. They don't, like, they don't bury you in, in prior exposition and yeah. backstory and okay. context. Um, they they give it to you little bit by little bit uh, throughout the first probably three or so episodes. Sure, I wish they'd given me just like a like a tiny bit more, but I mean, yeah. I got there. And that's that that is literally my only problem with The Witcher is that it drops you in no exposition. Mm. You you definitely do get some to start. Yeah, off there with. are. She's like, oh, I'm a person. I'm I'm, I'm a cartographer. Pe- people, people don't like Asians. <laughs> okay, they really yeah, don't I've... like people who look Asian. Hmm. Yeah, it's all very and like it's all very Russia, like anti-Mongolian yeah. Chinese uh, propaganda, and then Scandinavian like anti anti-Scandinavian no, or, or anti-witch like anti 
people who have special powers, like anti pagans, anti pagan uh, kind of feel. Gotcha. It, it, it's it's all you know, kind of uh, tracking back to to real life stuff that has yeah. happened in sure. in the 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 Eurasian area. Yes, but with a very mystical, yeah, you know, old time feel. feel. Yeah. yeah, steampunky sorta. Hmm. Steampunk I just, Narnia. I'm Steampunk just, Narnia. I'm just wondering what the hell Loki is going to give us for relevant trauma to be sad about. His With life Loki? story. WandaVision was uh, basically yeah. all about grief. Yeah. Falcon and the Winter was Soldier. A that was a lot of racism. A lot of racism. A lot I, of racism. I'm sure it was a segue out of left field. Sorry, I, because uh, we were talking about... Tying like, back to yeah, real tying, life. Tying back to the idea of stuff. real life uh, allegories and, and connections. And that's that's where my brain went, was that Loki... Yeah. I, I I saw someone say, fuck, I wonder what, what horrible trauma Loki's going to delve into. And... I've been thinking about it for weeks now that I saw someone say it. Mm. So, sorry, I didn't mean to drive us off the rails. Like but I, since we're here, it's going to be like a twelve-step program for him. There you go. Mm. Redemption, making mm. amends, kind of a bit like you know Bucky's thing with uh, the sure. Winter Soldier. Well, so another theme, Becoming not a pile of garbage in Shadow and Bone in the books, at least, is the the author like made the villain really hot on purpose sure. to kind of poke at the idea that people will forgive him because he's hot. Sure. Like he gets a, re- you know, he doesn't get a redemption arc, but like at the very end, he kind of gets a little bit of redemption, just like a teeny little niblet. And then I, and yeah, and Kylo yeah, Ren. The, like yeah, oh, God. Wow. God. Jesus. Sorry. Dude. I'm so sorry. I, uh, Fuck me. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't audience. Need those ears. Jesus. So, so Kylo Ren. Yeah. 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 So yeah, because the villain is hot, people are willing to overlook all of the terrible shit that he did. Yes. Yes, Rob. I see you squirming over there. So is that why Anakin I wasn't really- forgiven? <laughs> what? <laughs> Say that's why Anakin was no, but you forgiven. played that just right. I thought <laughs> Hayden Christensen's not bad looking. He's not yes. hot. He no. wasn't Hayden Christensen anymore by that's that point. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, but we don't need to go into it. But I still. Yeah, you're right. We don't need to go into it. We, we don't have thoughts. <laughs> I don't need a 45 minute rant on this. <laughs> Kylo Ren didn't deserve a back. Didn't deserve a redemption. No, he didn't. But no, ben, he did but not. But Ben Solo did. Oh. oh, way to go there, buddy. All right. <laughs> there are two different people. Now that's dirty pool. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking right there, man. So you about Stranger Things? Was that? Oh yeah, we were talking about Stranger Things. Were we talking about Stranger Things? No, but you, you mentioned briefly that you wanted mentioned to talk it, about Stranger and then things. we moved on. I did, but then I realized I didn't watch the trailer. So you got me. We can talk about it for Fair sure. Enough. I don't it's, know why I didn't watch it. I just. I've been rewatching it. Yeah, it uh. was it, there. It wasn't anything no groundbreaking. No, right. Uh, it sounds like Matthew Modine's coming back Hell again. Yeah. Again, again, again. Isn't he dead? The actor or the, no? The, the, the character. Guy? I feel like a lot. I feel like we're gonna get some flashback because when it cut to in the trailer, when it cut to her eyes, like her, you know, wake. You, open eyes yeah ah, gasp she had the shorn hair oh sure so i feel like we're gonna get i feel like we get matthew modine just in flashback all right because i still maintain that uh what's his face david harbour's character in black widow is what happened to hopper hopper when he was i thought about that too yeah we i feel like we've made this yeah um Link before, but I uh, made that point back in episode 100. Oh, that's when it was. So it was you the whole time. It was Got me it. the whole time. It was Megan all along. A little blurry, <laughs> a little drunk. So wow. Probably don't remember. Well, I but that's just probably listened weird. to it, so oh. that's the only reason I remember it. All two hours of it. Yep. 
Ooh. It was a fun day, though. It was a fun night. That was the, right before everything shut down, too. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, Stranger Things 2. <laughs> Stranger four. Things 4. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever season we're on. I don't remember. Did I watch season, Stranger Things 3? That was the one in the mall, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. I watched it. It was, and then, seems like five ever ago I watched it. Yeah, Stranger Things 4 was supposed to come out last summer. I don't know why it was. Well, know what, it's been so goddamn delayed. COVID. Uh, I yep. really want a season two of I'm Not Okay With This. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, watch it. It's mm. fucking awesome. Or was it I'm Totally Not Okay With This? Either way, it's one of those two. But it's a great show. Watch it. The great little series. I'll do it right now. Do it. Super awesome. All right. <laughs> the rest of the podcast sure. is just silence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You, you just hear the show like, yeah. muffled in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here and let's go. Oh damn! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that's right. This is what I wanted to talk about because um, this is a really, really, really interesting casting that they've made. Um, for uh, for oh. Stranger Things four. Oh, Robert Englund. Oh really? Do you guys not know who this is? Oh, of me, course I do. Give me context. No, I. Uh, sorry, I that had was a directed look at, on my dumb That was directed face. at Megan, even though I was looking at you. <laughs> directly at me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Robert Englund is better known as Freddy Krueger from the 80s. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 80s. And he's play- <laughs> <laughs> what? This show takes place in the 80s. I wasn't being a dick. On sure purpose. sounded like it. <laughs> Sure sounded it, like the the subtext to that <laughs> sentence of the 80s was, I wasn't even born yet. I wasn't, but I know a lot about it because <laughs> I watched the I Love the 80s series. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. She, she's basically Did a pro. Did you just say I, I have a black friend? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. No. No. Right. Is that too far? Yes. I'm sorry. 100%. <laughs> All right. Holy fuck. I Rob, love you can no the talk. I Love the 80s series. Rob goes sit in the corner and stare at it. So anyway, he's playing Victor Creel, apparently. Yes, Whoever Victor the fuck Creel. that Whoever is. The fuck I don't Victor know, but Creel it sure is. sounds a lot like Sabretooth. It does. Uh, I never understood the appeal of Freddy Krueger and everybody wanting to be Freddy Krueger and dress up like Freddy Krueger because he's literally a pedophile. Literally a pedophile. Yeah. yeah. Who gets burned and then comes back to haunt kids. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But people love him. Yeah. Because yep. he's sassy. He, he is, is sassy. sassy. That fucking dream warrior uh, one. And that's Ooh, dream warriors. <laughs> Beca- because they only they only b- briefly touch base on on the on the the pedophile thing in the in the first one. And we don't know if he if if he was sexing kids or if he just murdered the kids. They were kind of vague about it. All we know is that then he became a they burned him alive and he became a sassy monster who haunts people's dreams. But they always referred to him as a pedophile and that, that's why they burned him. Like they went to go like the, the People and like, ah, oh, you killed my kids and you fucking raped them and killed them and now we're going to burn you. See, I don't, I don't. I, I thought they kind of glossed over the the whether or not he was a, a pedo. <laughs> heavily, I'm pedophile. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> uh, heavily referenced uh, in mm. uh, moved to America. I don't think they, I've ever they seen called them a pedophiles. Uh, Freddy you Krueger should, movie. They're fun because uh, my friend. My oh wait, Austin, no, my, I, I've seen Freddy vs. Jason. That's the only one you need to watch, baby. It's true, much. Got it. Uh, my friends and I one summer a long time ago decided to go like all the Freddy Krueger movies, all the Jason movies, uh, like in yeah. order. They're bad. Uh, they're all horrible. terrible. <laughs> the worst ever. But God, they're so tropey. And a yeah. lot of a lot of stars got their start there. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. What? Uh, Jane. Uh, well, we also watched the Halloween series. So you got uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh yeah, and, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Where she became a scream queen. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so from the plot synopsis of the first film, he's just a child murderer. Mm. He's not it's a pedophile. Not a yeah. Mm. Still. Should be easy. I believe he's made into a pedophile by the second movie. Um, but because I, I remember that storyline too, so it's got to be in a different movie where mm. they mentioned that he's a. I'm a pedophile. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, so we get to nerd grabs now because we're time. Sure. Yeah, time wise here. Um, the IT crowd. <laughs> I watched it for like the nineteenth time. I watched the fuck it. such a quick rewatch. 
What's the name of the fucking movie I just watched with Michael B. Jordan? Because I was like, oh, Michael B. Jordan plays a, a warrior. Which, uh, the, the new... Without Redemption. Tom Clancy. Yeah. 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 Tom Clancy. Thought it'd the be super Tom good. Clanky. Thought it'd be super good. I hear it's terrible. It's horrible. Yeah, the it's director horrible. had no idea what he's doing. and no. managed cool. to make Michael B. Jordan a bad actor. Oh, yep. no. I, I feel very... Uh, like, why were you in... And then I was watching, I'm like, what fucking idiots did they get to, like, be the military advisors for this? And they actually have two really good military advisors. <laughs> who are actually, like, Navy SEALs and actually know what the fuck they're doing, but apparently the director listened to them and said, that sounds stupid. Let's do it this way. Oh. And I'm like, Tom Clancy movies are pretty decent. Like, I like Tom Clancy movies. They're good story, good action. This movie sucked balls. I mean, it, it's a military film. I should have expected the first thing Nick would jump in <laughs> on and zero yeah. in on was the military advisors yeah. and the... the, 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 the Authenticity. I should have known. I just wasn't prepared for it. One of the guys, and I know it's his thing, and I just I forgot. One of the guys they had on there was in American Sniper, uh, playing himself as one of the Navy SEAL guys. Like he literally, he was the advisor, and they're just like, "Hey, the director's like, "Uh, you want to be in this movie and play yourself? Sure. So he was. Hmm. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) literally playing himself in the movie. Good times. Anyway, so he was their military advisor, so he knows what he's talking about. He ain't full of shit. The guy knows what he's talking about. But like I said, the director looked at it and said, that's stupid. Why would they do that? That's dumb. It's not enough kicking ass. Right. That, that, why would they do that? And I, just like the town. Ta- oh. But anyways, the, the rest of it's horrible, too. It's horseshit. <clears throat> Don't watch it. Don't waste your time. And I felt really bad for Michael B. Jordan because I was really looking forward to him being like a special forces guy because he's, he's got the build. He's got the look. He definitely has the acting chops to do it. Uh, there are some parts that are cool. He's very good looking. He is beautiful. He's a beautiful man. Yeah, so watch um, Fahrenheit 451 again. You'll be fine. Yeah, I watched. Then I watched. Then I fought, then I had to redeem myself. So I watched uh, Under Siege. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> totally. Speaking this of, movie is horseshit. Let's watch Under Siege. <laughs> speaking of Navy SEALs. Speaking of uh, tits in early '90s action <laughs> movies. Hey, at least it was an executive decision. Speaking of... It's a great movie. He dies in the first, like, 18 minutes. I Play, know. Playboy I, models playing, trying to get an acting Yeah, Donna Caderco. <laughs> yep. I just mentioned Good executive decision. It's a very special time for Kevin. Good for her. <laughs> so when they mentioned the Playboy episode, magazine, that she was the cover, she was the centerfold in that oh, magazine. Yeah, I just mentioned executive decision because I feel like we're contractually obligated yeah. to m- mention right. it every episode this time. So, so Nerd Grabs, uh, I, got a, I got an Apple Watch. Which cool. I was like... I don't know, I really want to, but then I apparently have a credit with my. I didn't even know you had an Apple phone. I thought you had Android for some reason. I, I had Android for a long time, then I switched to Apple a few years ago because it was like at Best Buy for like a dollar. And We're then, no longer friends. Well, I only got it because we're still they were cheap, and I've just had to keep with them because everything iPhone. transfers. I can't transfer iPhone shit to like Galaxy phones. But um, plus, I like the fact that with the app programs, you know that they're going to be. They're, Apple is very good about. Uh, um, Corrupted you- programs, so like when you get it download an app, you know it's going to be not a corruption or a, a what's the word I'm looking for a, the virus? Um, a virus, yeah, the virus free or whatever. They're clean. They're they're not dirty, hoary programs. Uh, but anyway, yeah. so I got an Apple Watch, and I was like, I didn't expect to like like it as much as I do. I fucking love this thing. It's so fucking futuristic, and it's a total Nick watch because you can talk to it, and it's got a walkie-talkie <laughs> function on it that I want to use. So if you have an Apple Watch, let me know because I, I want to use the walkie-talkie function on it and be like Dick fucking Tracy. <laughs> be like, I do it. Sabre does. Does she? Yeah, you can talk oh, to Sabre. Fucking awesome. I know Ian does too. Can you? Can yeah. Ian does. Sabre and Ian. You guys can. Can you set up the, uh, the 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 tones? Yeah. On it? Uh, no, no, you can't. Well, I don't know if you can. I, you knew what I wanted. Yeah, it's uh, and I had that on my my old uh, Samsung. Watch, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Because I, I got a new the the newer Motorola one, the 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 three sixty, the twenty twenty rose yeah. gold yeah. one, and it does can't. not have speakers on it. I am very disappointed because mm. I love everything else about the watch, but that's kind of a, a you need can, for me. So you I can might, talk in it and I like might resell it to respond to like text messages and shit. It's pretty fucking cool. And the best thing is you can hit it to ping your phone because I lose my phone all the fucking mm-hmm. time. Nice, I'm like, oh, there it is. Uh, it's pretty fucking neat. And when you yeah, take it off, it, it locks and you can't and you, you can't use it. So should, if you want to buy a Motorola 360, hit me up on the slant. I'll give you a good deal. Yeah. Mm, I have a couple old I, iPhones if you want them. I, I don't. I don't. Where'd you break? I don't, yeah. I don't know. There was a Des Boing. There was a um, Des Boing. Um, I, I, I didn't want to get too far off of the iPhone conversation without mentioning <laughs> that uh, uh, Megan tenderly kissed her iPhone while we were talking about no. iPhones. So because Rob um, took it away from me and then I gave did. it back and so I petted it like a little baby and kissed and then, it and then yeah and then gave it a little tongue it was weird I did not 
like give it tongue. It would should slobber everywhere. It, there like, was there was there was church tongue. It was very <laughs> church, it was very yeah, appropriate not tongue. tongue. <laughs> oh, not like the speaking of Freddy Krueger. What? <laughs> the scene where the phone turns into no. his mouth and the tongue gets him. Yeah, yeah. okay. There no, we go. I know where you got. I know how you got there. I just people follow the bouncing ball. Why do I have to explain these fucking jokes oh every my single time? God, Nick. <laughs> I don't Yikes. feel they're as funny as if I have to explain them all the time. Oh. <laughs> if I have to explain, I'm going to throw something at him. Please. Uh, that would probably be justified. Um, uh, this is better than some of your segues, anyways. Well, you know, can't scoot around everything. Anyway, oh. segues. Um, I think that's it for Nerd Grabs, I think. I'll probably think for of something you. else. For me, yeah. Good. I can Apple Watch. Megan? Me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're not prepared or anything, did right? You, I'm didn't not have prepared. Any, did you I didn't, take a note on your I nerd I didn't take tab? notes and highlight them. And <laughs> did you write a note? In two colors. Your, in in your, two colors. And yes. your nerd grabs? Yes, I have. I want to hear about all of them since episode 100. Uh, <laughs> well. How about the past? Just kidding. I mean, was no, no, of, no, no. There was a lot of booze. <laughs> yeah. It's not really a nerd grab. Booze or boobs? Booze. Oh, okay. N- neither. Neither would be a, acceptable. I have boobs. I don't need to buy boobs. That's um, a true story. Yeah, so most most of my nerd grabs have been books because I'm in my MFA nerd. program for creative writing and kind of the philosophy of my professors is that being in an MFA program, you're kind of building your your bookshelf and your you know your your literary collection. Hey, Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Have you met me? Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so I've got two books that I've bought recently that I have started reading for fun, which is like a new concept for me recently because I was one of those kids, you know, you could devour a book in a week and then move on to the next one. And I haven't been able to do that since I was 12 because I don't know, I was a gifted child. Gifted, oh, yeah, gifted kid syndrome. Yeah, yeah. gifted kid syndrome. Um, so. My former improv teacher, uh, my improv camp teacher, <laughs> she wrote a book, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote She wrote a book. It was published last year, April I was, 2020. I wasn't laughing at her. I, I was laughing at you and the words improv camp. Yeah. I went to improv camp for five summers. <laughs> and again, so Kevin proud States. Of you. I said, and again, Kevin States. Huh? Very proud of you. you. It's just very nerdy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I. How, yeah. long, how long were these camps? They were two weeks every summer. They were held at uh, McAllister College. Oh, so you stayed at home. You didn't like, go to camp. Yeah, no, I didn't go to like summer camp. I was just picturing like camp, camp like, on Awana and fucking no. you know, sleeping in bunks and then you go to no. improv camp do these no. horseshit shows and then Wednesday Adam shows up and burns down the entire fucking village. Continue. No, but uh, her book actually takes place at an improv like <laughs> summer camp in Colorado. It's called Unscripted. It's very well done. It's about a uh, a young a teen girl who has to deal with the bullshit that comes with being in, being a girl in a male dominated improv field. Um, her she gets into like the the varsity. Uh, team and that's a big freaking deal because um, you know uh, scouts she's from she's 17, 17, 18, 17, 17. Okay. Um, but she oh like <laughs> I knew you were going to do that um, but she gets onto the varsity team she's the only girl on the varsity team um, and scouts from like SNL and Second City and uh What's the one in Los Angeles? Some Groundlings. Groundlings. No, not Groundlings. Not Groundlings? Not Groundlings. No, Groundlings uh, is in LA too. Uh, I can't remember. Something BC. <laughs> CBC? Oh, um, uh, UCB. UCB, that's it. Which Three is Mile Island. Chicago. Isn't it Chicago? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Um, so Citizens any- Brigade? Yeah, anyway, Chicago, I think. Anyway, uh, peop- scouts from these big time things come to their final show and, you know, make offers to kids and whatever. Um, And her, uh, I mean, she's, you know, forced to play a dead hooker at some, at one point it's, it's all very snowball-y 
and her coach kind of develops this really inappropriate crush on her and it it definitely like yeah just reading it as it's the first book i've been able to read in like a day Hmm. so very it's very good i definitely recommend picking it up it's called unscripted by nicole kronzer she's fantastic i think she's got another book coming out next year later this year Hmm. or maybe she i don't know i did want to say i'm sorry you're right ucb is is both new york and la there's a ucb east and ucb west um the the reason I thought it was Chicago is because Upright Citizens Brigade, the acting troupe, started in Chicago, mm. and then moved out to L.A. And then moved out to L.A. because they started at the Improv Olympic in Chicago. Ah, got so. it. But yeah, it's it. If you've ever dealt with, I don't know, sex like super blatant sexism, and like she tries to you know appeal to upper. I know you're all dudes, but she's talking to the audience. Talk to the audience, Rob. There's an audience here. I know. Sometimes I forget. (laughs) We're not just having a conversation. (laughs) Yes. Sometimes we're just kind of having a conversation. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah. So I mean, if you've ever experienced uh, just frustratingly annoying fucking men and patriarchy, sorry. I call it the show. (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, it's it's very well written. It's a really easy read, too, because it's written for teenagers. Um, nice. But cool. Yeah, I read it in a day. I loved it. I will definitely be reading it again. Oh. Um, and I, I messaged my, my old teacher, Nicole, um, after I finished it. I'm like, thank you for this book. We need to get together and have coffee and talk all things bookish because I'm a, I'm a writer. um so another nerd grab i had aaron pick me up the latest in the grishaverse book um the shadow and bone thing we were talking about earlier um this one is about nikolai who i won't spoil anything but it's very good i am not that far into it because i watched movies on the plane instead of reading does he have a new power we haven't seen yet no, Damn but it. someone else kind of does. Ah, cool. And someone else definitely does. Ah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it, you should read the books, dude. I don't know what any of this means. I don't read either. Ugh. I don't read less <laughs> pictures. Um, and then two things that I bought a while ago, but I still they still very much count as nerd grabs. I bought myself a fabric mermaid tail. Nice. From Finfolk Productions. Nerd. I love it. It's called it's the Tahitian Tide from their spring release. It's blue and gold and it's very pretty and I can't wait for it to get here and I just want it so bad and it's not going to get here until June or July and I'm mm. still waiting and I'm Aww. not really happy about it but I'm willing to wait because it's going to be really pretty. Yeah. So I just get to keep practicing with my mono fin. There you go. Nice. So yeah. Those are, oh and I bought mono. mermaid leggings. <laughs> From Vinfolk Productions as well. <laughs> Apparently you didn't listen to fucking Elijah Schlesinger. <laughs> Yo, soy mermaid. Soy mermaid. I'm a mermaid. Let's make a pact. I'm a mermaid. So anyway, those are my nerd grabs. Yay. Cool. Kevin? Rob? Okay. Um, this going way. Oh, it's, it's clockwise. It's, we can bounce too. Nah, clockwise. Z! Son of a bitch. Um, What did I get? So I was going to talk about uh, one of the books I got. Mr. I Don't Read over here. Yeah. So I got uh, two books on Audible. Is it a picture book? (laughs) On Audible? On Audible. I got two (laughs) books on Audible. They just described the pictures. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I I, I I want to do that. (laughs) Like, I want to do that. David Attenborough just narrating oh, a picture book, like a coffee table book. God. Apparently, we could That'd probably be hilarious. Do that. We could definitely do that. Oh I yeah, think, we can make let's that. do that. Okay. Anyway, Anyways. you got a couple books on Audible. I got a couple, couple books, books, on books on Audible. Audible. Um, they're Audible. by Audible. 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 Audible hopes you've enjoyed this program. Um, I, I got two books from uh, a musician by the name of Alan Doyle. 
Uh, he was the lead singer for a band called Great Big C. They were a mm. folk Newfoundland Celtic band. Sure. Yeah. Was, uh, um, Sounds very festy. It is very festy. Uh, you probably know half their songs from probably, Fest, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, anyways, one of them, the first book, they're both memoirs, but mm. they're more in a storyteller style. Yeah. So like they focus more on a theme versus a, like a here I was born, yep. then this happened, I got famous and now we're here. I like, have book recommendations for you. Excellent. I love a good biography. Uh, I'm a big fan. Um, memoirs, but yeah. Memoirs and yeah. autobiographies and stuff like that. Um, but these, these are told sort of with a theme. So the first one I got, Where I Belong, uh, is all about him growing up in a small fishing village in Newfoundland, Canada, and just about all his time there and before the the cod fishing uh, moratorium in Canada. What? Oh, I was just thinking that don't know, don't want to know. Those newfies are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I I was going through Oh Canada in my head during. Oh, gotcha. Naturally. Well, well, Rob was talking. What was the, what's that from? Oh, uh, how you met your mother when they were uh, trying to figure out Canadian sex acts. Oh, sure. Oh, it yeah. was the Newfoundland something. And what's that? I don't know. <laughs> don't don't, don't want to know. know. Those newfies are crazy. <laughs> sure. Uh, apparently, where, a, uh, it's where like all of my extended family is. By the way, like all the Melnicks are in like that Newfoundland zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time you Apparent- say Newfoundland, all I can think of is the dog, and they're yeah, sure. obviously fucking cute, and I want one, but I also don't. Anyways, want one. Newfie apparently a slur. Really? Huh. Yeah. I didn't know either until recently. That's what everybody calls the dog. Yeah. yeah. They, you can call the, that's, and that's what they say. Uh, the dog is a Newfie. We are in Newfoundland. Gotcha. Got it. That makes yes. sense. Yeah. It's like I sense. can call the dressing oriental, but not an Asian person. Correct. Huh. Outside of like the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, the first book is all about him growing up in Petty Harbor, Harbor Newfoundland and just being a kid and, really fucking stupid stories, including one about how they go and uh, try to rescue some dirty magazines from a ravine that goes into the ocean. Classic kid <laughs> stuff. <laughs> right. Absolutely. What is that the plot to stand by me? Right. Yeah, right. Practically. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, yeah, he has his own little stand by me story Cute. and, and uh, them walking around this fishing village, which practically has like, shanty town homes all yeah. over the place and then like peeking in the windows of certain neighbors and watching them have sex and stuff is like <laughs> kind of a little weird but like charming charming to be uh, all I can think of now is Jay from Big Mouth where he always watches his neighbors have sex <laughs> hey Mr. Mr. Anderson <laughs> hey Jay <laughs> hey Jay <laughs> But yeah, and 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 but there's some good stuff about Catholicism in there as well. Anyways, that's the first book. That's where I belong. I got a second one, which is called The Newfoundlander in Newfoundlander in Canada, where he basically goes from Newfoundland and towards the west coast by province. Do we need mm. to go like Take a trip to Newfoundland. Yes, it seems I, like you're very interested. I am very interested in Newfoundland. I am. I. We I, can stop at my brother's in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. You but know, once I, they open up the borders. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is Newfoundland? Newfoundland's it's on the way, way east. east. Yeah, it's like the east coast of Canada. Yeah, no, it's no, no. That's Prince yeah. Edward Isle. And, and oh, <laughs> that's that's Anne of Green Gables. That's what I was. Yeah, thinking yeah. Of. Prince Edward Isle is east coast of Canada. Then you get to Nova Scotia, and then past that is Newfoundland. It's fucking far out there. It's I got it's I got part it. of the segment that's now called Atlantic Canada. Yeah, like it's not even East Coast. It's Atlantic Canada. I'm just gonna call that Atlanta. It's by Greenland. That's isn't fair. It? Uh, not quite that far, but I can yeah. see Greenland from my house. It's definitely <laughs> pulled up Newfoundland dog on my phone. Yeah, jeez, even your phone's racist. <laughs> said Newfoundland, not I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, um, okay. Oh, yeah. all right. All right. See what I mean? It's way I got out. it. Anyways, yeah, I find the whole culture thing interesting about um Newfoundland. Um but yeah, so and he just discusses like but he goes province by province and tells a weird road trip story because he was in a band and he drove by van all the way through Canada. Fart van. <laughs> Sorry, that's a very, very niche in joke with 
uh, podcast, another podcast I listen to. But like there, there is a story in which he talks about how they serve, how all four members of the band survived a road trip through um, Ontario on Cadbury eggs and cigarettes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it was definitely a fart band. <laughs> you know, it was band. just. Gross. Basically, oh, gross. Yeah. basically John Candy's band from fucking Home Alone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> basically. The polka band. Yeah. That was a fart that band. That was a fart band. <laughs> it sure was. And they just went everywhere in a fart van. It was an oompa <laughs> van. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you're... if like, he, he tells them in a funny way. He's very it's very conversational. And it's it's like you're listening to a guy tell stories around a fire or in a bar. And nice. it's, it's they're, they're very good. They're fun. They're light. Uh, he has a third book out that I still haven't got, but I probably will soon. Um, that he put out during the pandemic. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, those are my nerd grabs. I think I, I'm trying to think if there's something else, but uh, we'll see. Go ahead, Kev. Oh, um, I thought you were about to fart. So <laughs> <laughs> you had the fart link on there. Uh, so thank you for pointing it at Rob. So yeah. I have <laughs> purchased my my weapon. For this year at Fest, yeah, because uh, we're I believe we're going to try and actually carry rapiers on us this year. Yay! So we look a little more musketeery. <laughs> sure. Uh, th- this one is being basically handmade for me, uh, so I should be getting it sort of just in the nick of time. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. But I'm thinking I might ah. also sorta sword. Uh. <laughs> I'm thinking I might carry uh, two on me. Uh, the, the lighter one as well. Um, go home. <laughs> just go home. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited to show people it. I'm not. I'm not going to to go into details about it yet because it is a, a kind of a special weapon. Um, but it's it's going to be very very cool. I just need to get a um, a sheath. Where custom are you made getting it from? It. Come? I'm not going to tell you that either. <sighs> okay. Does it not come with one. No. Really? Yeah. Odd. Uh huh. Especially if you spent a lot of money on Food. it. Uh huh. Mm. For a reason. Oh. No, 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 no. Not that one? No. Is that the lightsaber one? No. No. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. I, I, the more we ask, the more interested I'm going to get, so let's stop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yes, I'm excited for it. Uh, other than that, um, now that vaccinations are going through and, and things are quieting down, Ian and I should be uh, getting together and start playing again. Yay. Uh, so we're going to do a uh, get a new review in, and uh, I think we're going to play Mario 64. <laughs> yes. Yes. As, a, as our next actual playthrough, so that should be kind of fun. Um, other than that, um, God, I picked up Returnal. Uh, which is a, an actual PlayStation 5 game. Um, it is a, a roguelike. Uh, you basically, you, you start the game crashing into this planet. You are you play as a woman who looks suspiciously like Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> but I can't it, find who she is anywhere. But is she it voiced she, by Brienne of Tarth? That's no what idea. I can't, that's what I can't find. Uh. It looks like her, but she, she also has an American accent, but that could be faked. Mm. You don't know. Um, but you're exploring this. Gwendolyn Christie. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you're exploring this alien planet. Um, you you find a couple of pretty easy to kill enemies, and then you get to the big bad enemy who is like the only oh, you're supposed to be beaten, but you die. Mm. But then you crash land on the planet again, and everything's just a little bit different. Oh. And every time you die, you crash land into the planet again, and everything's just a little bit different. Oh. Mm. And then you find your childhood home. Like in the rocks, and you have to explore that. It's it, it's a time loop movie, uh, movie. Weird. It's a time game. loop game. Uh, that is this a, sounds like right up your alley. Yeah, that's a. And I'm not usually into roguelikes, but this one just uh, it's but captured it's a time my loop. Yeah, it's a, concept. Um, that's totally your game. Yeah, and um, it's it's very fun. The the combat. I'm stuck on the uh, on this <laughs> fucking boss that I can't get through. Um, so if anyone that's listening has played Returnal, how do I beat Shrike? You guys, come on. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's, I don't know if it's PlayStation exclusive or if it's just next gen exclusive. Um, but yeah, uh, very intriguing game. Good story. The graphics are stupid. They're stupid. How pretty this game is. Mm. Um, 
But yeah, mm. that and uh, because of the new Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance game that's coming out, the original uh, Dark Alliance games f- game for the PlayStation 2 got re-released in <laughs> HD, so I <laughs> bought that and started playing the shit out of it instead of my new video games, but whatever, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, PS5 exclusive. Okay, gotcha. Yes, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm nice. having a, a good time with it. But and then I also picked up uh, Resident Evil Eight because, mommy, Milky, please step on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you unfamiliar with the internet, Megan? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the the main villain of Resident Evil Eight uh, is this nine foot tall, like seven hundred pound, uh-huh. super sexy, like old timey looking vampire woman. Okay. And the internet became very obsessed with her. Yeah. And that turned into <laughs> mommy milky, please, please step on me. Oh, okay. Like there's a person who kept getting killed because oh, they had internet. a fly swatter and kept just slapping wrapping her, her on the, the butt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, she would just annihilate them. But the it. internet loves that video. So I, yeah, I, I am. Of course a, it does. And it's when the you know the fir- the demo first came out and people fell in love with her. Uh, Capcom instead of like ignoring it, steered Just, right into yep. the game. It was like, all right, you want it, you got it. <laughs> good lord. Oh, Cosplayers no. have been having a good time with her too. Uh, yes, I bet. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I, I, the first person. I, I tried playing a little bit around Sabra, but she got very. Uh, motion sick from it, so mm. that was kind of a bummer because she was interested in it. But mm, sure. um, though I haven't tried turning off the head bob, but I don't know if that'll do right. much. Yeah. Uh, but my my final nerd grab is uh, this very next week. I'm going to be going to therapy. Yay! Yay! Yay. I'm very excited for that. Um, and then so are we apparently. <laughs> so yes, next Mental Wednesday. Good. Next Wednesday starts, um, and then on Friday I have an uh, informational appointment. Uh, with the bariatric department of HCMC to possibly get a sleeve. Nice. Gastro sleeve? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. A, a lot of it of that will depend on money. But yeah. No, I sure. I totally understand that. Um, but if I, if I can make the, the right case to my insurance mm-hmm. um, about... Um, like quality of life and how mm-hmm. I, you know, need this for p- particular aspects of my job, um, I can get, a, I think, a good chunk of it covered. Nice. Sure. So that's good, Kevin. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for you and happy for you. And I'm happy for me too. I hope it. Yay. Uh, Therapy is. I hope good. it'll help everything. Because yay, helping yourself. Because mental health is a thing. Um, I forgot to mention that uh, Megan, you did do something over the, over the pandemic. You were my uh, script editor. Yes, I was. You were, and uh, and then I got COVID. And you sure did. Go to the shoot. I sure did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. But uh, that's the film festival is coming up June fourth and fifth. We are on June fifth at nine o'clock at night at uh, the Imagine Theater in Plymouth uh, through Z Fest. You can buy the tickets on Z uh, Fest. And oddly enough, Nathan Block, who uh, I've been in a couple of his films for Z Fest, uh, his film is also in that same block. So it'll be a lot of fun to. He can see my movie, and I can see his movie. Hmm. And, but uh, there are four blocks, Friday for an hour, seven and nine, and then Saturday, seven and nine. So I, What are the other three blocks? Uh, other films. They're just they Well, you mentioned them. Nathan Block. What are the, who are the other three? <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I thank, deserve that. That's thank fine. you, Megan. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it'd uh, be cool. I have intentionally not watched my film since I submitted it. <laughs> Sorry. Probably a good solution, actually. Yeah. Sound like me. <laughs> no, that's... Uh, well, I'm not... I'd be so nervous. I'm just nervous that because with, with what's happened in the climate recently, just people have probably have a different perception of the entire movie. Ow. With everything that's happened recently. So, mm. um, oh, that has nothing to do with law enforcement, really, other than the character is a, is a cop, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with mental illness and uh, all that, so... Okay. I'm excited. So if you want, if you're in the area and want to come, uh, it's uh, they're doing full seating, full live viewing. So really, yeah. they're packing that mm. theater. Mm. It's in June. Mm. Masks will still be a thing because the, the mask mandate will still be up. Sure, I'm vaccinated. I ain't worried. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, they're doing it like two theaters. So, no, just don't want to get into it right now. That's all. All right. Uh, also, uh, if you're listening to this episode, I'm going to throw this in. If you didn't listen to the last episode, 
Uh, if you go to Heroic Goods and Games during the month of May and you on, do some online shopping, you can get 10% off if you use the code BEST Threesome. Uh, you get 10% off your online order and you can use it as many times as you would like and all through the month of May. So there is that. Is also. that BEST the number three sum? Yes. Okay. Just like our name. Just want to make sure? No, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, if you have comments or questions or anything you'd like to hear us talk about, you can always uh, get a hold of us at comments at. Uh, oh, crap. I got to remember the email. <laughs> Best. <sighs> B3E comments at gmail.com. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. <laughs> and I'm just going to double check and make sure that's the fucking. Yep. It B3E is. comments at gmail.com. Uh, send us an email. We don't have any current emails, but we did have a comment about Pete and Pete from uh, Tech God Stefan. Seven, Not yeah. Sean. No, I was thinking. Why was I thinking Sean? I don't know. I, I don't know. But always is, Sean. It, 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 <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, but like this is the second or third time you've said Sean when you meant Stefan. So I'm <laughs> I'm just wondering if they have similar profile pictures. I don't know. COVID brain. I don't know. No, it's um, okay, man. So yeah, so yeah. Anything else anybody's got to brag about? Talk about real quick. No, 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 no. no, no. All right. Well, we will. Uh, this has been best recent ever episode one hundred twenty seven with our favorite friend Megan. Uh, we're glad to have you back. Uh, sponsored by Heroic Goods and Games and Jaybird Wines. I'm Nick. I'm Rob. I'm Kevin. I'm Megan. Yeah. I'm yeah. And we will see you next time. <laughs> The views held here by the nerds of Best Threesome Ever do not directly reflect the views of nerds everywhere.